So a typical question on the Bergen Academy's admission test. How many positive factors, including one and itself, does the number 52 have? You're going to see this question a lot. How many positive factors does a certain number have? So in order to do that, we um, use multiplication so we don't get mixed up and we don't forget anything. And we start with 1 times itself. So 1 times 52 gives me 52. Now what other factors does 52 have? We keep on going a little higher. So 2 times what equals 52 times 26. 3 times what equals 52? Nothing, because 52 is not divisible by 3. If you add the 5 and the 2, you get a 7, which is not divisible by 3. How about 4? Yes, 4 times 13 equals 52. If you try 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9, they are not numbers um, that work because 52 is not divisible by any of them and you can revise the chapter we have on divisibility rules to make sure you understand how to check for divisibility. So what are the positive factors? They are these numbers, the numbers that multiplied by each other give me 52. So 1, 52, 2, 26, 4, and 13. We have six numbers, so the answer is B. So the number 52 has six positive factors, including one and itself.